Welcome! You are preparing a Power BI report and you would like to add symbols or emojis to the report. How do you add them? In this video, I will take the top three most profitable products and put a symbol next to them to draw the reader's attention. I will begin by showing how you can add a symbol easily to a page. To do that, we just set up a new measure. So in products, new measure, the symbol I would like to add is the copyright symbol. So that's what I will call my measure copyright and say it equals open double quote marks now i am on a windows computer so i can pull up a list of symbols simply by pressing the windows key and the full stop i scroll down and find the copyright symbol you can see that has now been added into the measure so all i need to do is then close my double quote mark and click OK. I will now put a card onto the page to show that it works. And then if you click and drag copyright into the field section, you can see the copyright symbol appears. And if we want rid of the word copyright beneath, we just need to change our category label to off. There we go, nice and simple. And we can repeat the same for emojis. So again, new measure. I will call mine emoji equals open double quote marks, windows full stop. And I'll just pick any emoji just to demonstrate the workings. Close my double quote mark. And then again, I can now click on my card, remove my copyright. And if I drag the emoji measure in, you can see it updates. So that's how easy it is to bring these symbols and emojis into Power BI. We are now going to add medals to our table here. I'll just remove my card. So this table contains products, sales and gross profit, gross profit margin and rank. And the rank is based upon the gross profit margin. So the higher the gross profit margin, the better the ranking it has been given. But as you can see, it doesn't jump out at us easily which items are in first, second and third place. Now you can say, but Pauline, all you need to do is change the ranking. And that is true. We can click on the rank column and it will change it to rank from first down to last. However, this table regularly gets copied and put into a PowerPoint presentation. And those that use the PowerPoint report always like to see the products in a specific order, regardless of what the other figures show. So I will put it back to alphabetical order here in product and to therefore highlight which ones are first, second and third, we will give them a little medal. To give the medals, we need to set up a new measure. I will call my measure medals and say it equals and then we want to say if the rank so products rank equals one then open double quote marks windows dot to pull up my symbols and as you can see here, I'm going to use these symbols one, two, and three to rank our products. We'll give them gold, silver, and bronze. So first place is the one with the number one on it. So I will click on that and it appears in my measure. Close my double quote marks and to make sure at this stage it all works, 
we'll just close off the if statement, click and drag medals into the table, and that looks good. We've got our number one medal against our number one rank. So let's put in silver and bronze medals. So if we go back to our medals measure, after our double quote marks, we're doing a comma. Then we need another if statement. So if product rank equals two, then we're going to give them a silver medal. So open double quote marks, windows full stop, number two. Close my double quote marks, comma, and then if products rank equals three, comma, open my double quote marks, windows dot, and click my bronze medal. Close my double quote marks and close again my bracket. And I need a third one because I've got three if statements there to close off. So that's three closing brackets. Let's see if that works. Click on the tick mark and that looks good. Our medals have appeared in our table, one, two and three. That helps the users who will just be seeing this table, but for the users of the report, it might be helpful just to see number one, two and three. And to do that, I'm going to insert a multi row card. Into the multi row card, I will add the medals and the product because we need to know which product is ranking. Across in the format section, I will turn the category label to off. In the card section, I will remove the accent bar by turning it to off. And I will increase the size of the call out values and we'll put them up to 20. There we go. The final thing I will do is put a title to my diagram. So change title to on. And I will just call the table top three profitable products. And there we go. That is us done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button.